What's up, Josh? Hi. So good to see you again. It's been a few months. It has. How are you? I'm good, my Canadian, my fellow Canadian. How yes. are you? Yes. <laughs> are you in Canada right now? I am, yes. Edmonton? Edmonton, Alberta. What's the weather like? Are we cold? Um, yeah, actually, I was just driving home and it was like pouring rain. Like, it, it was hard to see out the windshield. It was, it was so much, but no, it's not that bad. It's like, kind of nice. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm from Vancouver, so I could relate to the rain. I mean, every Definitely. Time it's just raining and I'm like, yeah, when's my next flight out to LA again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Josh, let's dive in here. I mean... So many of your fans, your bow champions, are so excited about your live today. But let's start from the beginning. I want to know, how did you get involved with Now United? How how were you discovered? Uh, okay. Well, it's kind of a long story. But um, I had been posting my dance videos online on, on um, different things. And different competitions I went to would post my videos online if I competed. And um, I think XIX Entertainment came across one of my videos online at a, a competition um, in, in the United States I was at. And um, they sent me an email to, um, the email was to, to go on like a Zoom call and talk about going to the audition. And so um, that's what I did. I went on the Zoom call and talked to them about the audition. and. Um, then uh, from there, they flew me out to uh, Los Angeles, where I did the American boot camp, which was um, weird because I'm Canadian. Right. But um, you gotta do what you gotta do. I said I was American. I mean, I am dual citizen, but like, if you had the opportunity to join the greatest group and your all your dreams in the world. I'm guaranteeing you would say that you are American, even though you're like actually Canadian. So <laughs> that's what I did. And so from there, I made it through the American audition. And um, yeah, then we went to the boot camp with all the auditioners from all over the world. And then Simon picked the final 14. Wow. Now, how long ago was this? Um, 2017. Wow. And it's been non-stop go, go, go for you ever since. Pretty much. Except for like a f six months in 2020, but we don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What if, so how long would you say the whole process of, you know, being discovered, doing the boot camps, and then officially them announcing you were a Now United member? What was that timeline? Um... So I, the first time I received an email, I think it was like springtime. And then I ended up going to LA for the audition. Um, I think maybe a month after that. And wow. then from there, the actual audition happened two weeks later. And then, yeah, joined the group. I love to ask because I was talking to one of your group members earlier this week, Savannah Clark, who's absolutely amazing. And she was telling me about her process and how it was just kind of like boom, boom, boom. So it was, it's, it's interesting to know how it went with you guys. All yeah, she, she definitely had a, a different experience with joining because she was the first new member added after two years, I think. Two, yeah. Three years. Yeah. Wow. Now, I like I said, so much go, go, go from music videos to songs to touring. I mean, you guys just came off of your Wave Your Flag tour. So how was that process for you? How was that experience? That was everything we could have possibly dreamed of. Um, I mean, all of our like dreams when we joined this group were to perform and go on tour and and that's uh, what we love to do. And we love to see our fans in person and actually get to perform the songs that they want to see. And um, we got to go on a tour before COVID happened. And that was amazing. And then COVID happened. And then we were just stuck for the longest time. So finally getting back into it and doing the Wave Your Flag tour was 
a relief and it was amazing and so many things. <laughs> was there a moment on the wave your flag tour, Josh, that you were like, wow, we are back? Was it a moment when your fans were singing to you or was there a specific stop that was crazier than the rest? What was that moment for you? <sighs> um, hmm. There's a, there's a, there's a lot. I know that's uh, a hard question. <laughs> it's a loaded I, question. I'd say um, there's this there's this moment in all of our performances, um, all of our shows, sorry, uh, where we perform our song "Beautiful Life" and the whole crowd puts up their flashlights and then the whole crowd like waves their hands back and forth when we wave our hands back and forth and um, I think when we first stepped out for our first show and it was so nerve wracking when we first stepped out. So I was just like kind of in like a shock and I yeah. didn't really realize what's going on. So it took up until probably that moment for me to really realize what was happening. And like, I think that would be my, my aha moment. <laughs> And also, you guys performed at some iconic places where, like, some of the best from Bieber to Jay Z, Beyonce have performed. And, like, you guys had about 20,000, if I'm not mistaken, 20,000 people in the crowd. I mean, looking mm -hmm. at that, people screaming your guys' name, that is, I mean, does it ever not feel surreal? Um, no, the whole <laughs> thing is surreal. Um, I, I, I just remember, like, our, our last tour, our biggest show, I think, was, was 8,000, if I'm not wow. mistaken. I honestly, I can't really remember. I think I think it was 8,000, and I thought that was, like, insane. I was like, how can this get any bigger? And wow. then this tour, uh, we more than doubled that uh, in, in Lisbon, Portugal. That was our biggest show. And, um, yeah, I, I, just looking out at that sea of fans, it was like how did we do this <laughs> like it, it was it was insane for you that's amazing but now you're home you're on a little bit of a break when are you guys back at it um well well i don't know what i'm allowed to say and i'm not allowed to say but i do know that we are going to be filming the music video for our song that we kind of debuted on the wave your flag tour called all night long somewhere in the near future um but I honestly don't know where we're going yet because a trip that we were supposed to go on very soon has been rescheduled and we're just figuring it out right now. So speaking about music videos, you guys do have the Heartbreak on the Dance Floor music video premiering in just 18 hours. So I don't want to give away too much because people need to go check that out. But what can the fans, a little glimpse, give the fans a little bit of you know, what can they be staying tuned for in this music video? Well, um, it's going to be a surprise for me because I actually haven't even seen it yet. But <laughs> yeah. um, on, so, on the... 18 hours? Yeah, honestly, we don't really see the music videos before they get released most of the time. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. But this one I haven't seen yet. Um, but from what we shot, we shot a bunch of cool shots and I, I saw all of those play back, um, not put together, but, um, I, I think there's, there's like a little battle scene, there's fans in it, there's different locations, um, there's cool lighting setups and there's a bunch of people singing in this song and I, I think it's, I think it's a banger and I think the choreography that we have for it is super sick also so um i think that should just be ready for a great music video well there you go everyone you guys and josh will be seeing heartbreak on the dance floor for the first time in 18 hours so make sure you guys are staying tuned for that music video but josh i do have to ask i do know you do have a love for our guy justin bieber some canadian pride there okay but i did notice on your instagram page it has switched to a Zendaya fan page of <laughs> a new number one love here. Like, what's going on? Um, yeah. See, Justin Bieber is more of like, I love him so much because he's just such an inspiration to me. And I 
can see myself becoming a similar kind of artist and I see a lot of myself in him and I relate to him a lot. So it's like, uh, I would love to be his friend slash brother slash acquaintance. And that's why I love him so much. Have and when it comes to Zendaya. Have you met Bieber? I, I did meet Bieber. I did. I don't know if he'll remember. I met him two times. Um, I met him on Instagram Live, actually. No way. Once. Did you yeah. Join his lives? I, I joined one of his lives and he let me in. Yeah. JB and JB. That's a yeah. good <laughs> And then I talked to him like for a split second in Coachella before COVID, whichever okay. one I went to. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wait, that's really cool. Was was the live like? Where can we find this live? Do you have it? I think there's the the full live is on uh, YouTube somewhere. I think one of my fan pages posted it. Yeah. Me after this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then Zendaya, the love for Zendaya. Of course, everyone has this love for Zendaya. But what is this love for her? I just think Zendaya is indescribable as like a woman and as a person and her beauty and like everything. I just, she stands for all the right causes and yeah. she uses her audience in such a empowering and beautiful way. And I find that so inspiring and to see what she's done in her career and life at just young age like her is, is just amazing. And um, on top of that, she's freaking gorgeous, so. I, yeah. So there we have it. JB is the ultimate dream best friend and Zendaya is the ultimate dream girl. Yep. <laughs> All right. We like it. Thank you for that clarity. I needed to know. But Josh, before we get in here, your fans, oh my goodness, your fans are absolutely amazing. They love you. They had so many fan ask questions to ask you. So before we get into that, I want to play hot takes with Josh. Okay. okay. So really quick top of your mind don't even think about it okay first thing that you uh -oh. think. all right here we go question one josh explore the ocean or explore outer space outer space hands down all right la or new york city new york hands down okay canada or the usa oh is this like to live in or like to visit take it however you see it Ah, Canada. Ooh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, guys. Canadian to <laughs> Canada. Okay. I gotta stay loyal. Exactly. I, hey, I, I relate. Okay, question four. Okay, is it pronounced GIF or GIF, Josh? GIF. Okay. Totally GIF. All right, and what do we think about pineapple on pizza? Are we that kind of guy or no? Absolutely not. That's an abomination. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, how about this? Okay. Milk or cereal going first? Cereal goes first. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> if you put the cereal in after the milk, it just splashes everywhere. It's just... Yeah, too much of a mess I don't even need to deal with. All right, next question. Do aliens exist? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Josh, this question is next, but this question was also one of your most fan asked questions. So I need to know, is there a story behind this? But people want to know, Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Oh my, uh, Pepsi. Okay. Pepsi. Um, because I've, I've just always liked Pepsi better when I was a kid. And Pepsi has also brought us so many places in the world and we, We've done so many things with Pepsi on top of me actually liking it better. So, Pepsi. There we go. Okay, shout that out. That was the most asked one? Really? One of them was, yes. Yeah. Interesting. Really interesting. But I'll tell you the next one when we get to the fan ask questions. But last hot take, okay? Do okay. you think a hot dog is a sandwich? Oh my goodness. No. I don't think it is. It's just its own category. Yeah, a hot dog is a hot dog. Yeah. Right? It's not a sandwich. All right, I like your answer. 
I agree with you on both. But Josh, let's get into these fan asked questions from the Bow Champions. Also, this is a question from me to you, but why Bow Champions? I, I know it's a your last name, but Um, so I a while ago was thinking of a, a name to call my fans. And um, I asked my fans what I should oh, call cool. them. So they, they had input and there was two options that I was like trying to decide between. Okay. And it was Bo Champions and it was also Lil Bo Peeps, <laughs> which, which is actually like super sick. Like Bo yeah. as in B-E-A-U, like my last name. And I thought that was super sick, but I also was like that is a little bit harder to say than Bo Champions. And I feel like Bo Champions are just cooler. So. Yeah, I agree. It's cooler Bo Champions, but little Bo Peeps, that's actually that's actually really funny and creative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might switch it one day. We, we hey. don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Your number one fan, most fan asked question was, people really, really wanted to know, Josh, if you got a Harry Potter lava lamp on tour. A Harry Potter lava lamp on tour. Uh -huh. I think I did. Yes, I did. I have literally a whole suitcase full of fan gifts in my basement right now. And I believe I have seen that one. Yes. I haven't Wait, gone through them yet. <laughs> that's pretty incredible. Yeah. That I get some of the coolest fan gifts ever. My fans are literally the best gift givers. I need to learn from them because I am bad at it. Yeah, I've, I've received some of the coolest things. Wait, okay, so that leads to your second most asked question was any best fan moments or gifts from tour? But you kind of answered, you haven't gone through them, but anything you could talk on that about. From this tour, this new one? Take it as whatever you think, or if there's okay. been a previous that been like, this is one of the coolest gifts. Well, um, I feel like I might have said this before, but uh, on our last tour, the one before Wave Your Flag, Dreams Come True tour, there was this one um, show we did, I think it was our last show. And after the show, we did a meet and greet and about halfway through the meet and greet, this kid came in, this little boy, um, who was a dancer, and I, and he said that I was like his inspiration to start and dance. So that was like already like heart. Yeah. Hit. And um, he started crying, and he asked me to trade bandanas. He had a, like a bandana because I always wear a bandana on stage. Um, and he had one and I had one from the whole tour and I traded with him and I still have that bandana to this day. Wow. And do you wear it on, on stage? I've worn it. I don't think I've worn it on stage, but I have worn it before. Well, bandana boy, if you are in here, he still has your bandana. That's yes. special. Yeah, that was definitely a very important and very heartwarming experience I had on tour. Really cool. I love that. All right. And your fans want to know, what is one of the first gifts you think you're going to get Sabina's baby? As we know, she's expecting. Do you, have you been thinking about that yet? I have. And my fans have been giving me suggestions. But I think the first thing that I'm going to get her baby is either a bandana okay. or um, some like baby Jordans. Oh, the baby Jordans are the cutest thing ever. I yeah, yeah. Back both of them. Okay, everyone on this, don't tell Sabina then. We still have to no. surprise. Okay, I like that. All right. Second to last question. Oh no, this is the last okay. fan question, but your fans were dying to know who is a dream collab if you were to collab with someone on a movie and to collab with someone on a song. So two dream collabs. Wow. Oh my god. I know, it's a loaded one. Oh my god. Collab. That's such a big 
question. Okay. <sighs> on a movie? On a movie? Well, I would love to be with Zendaya. That would be great in a movie. <laughs> so, like, actor-wise, if I was to collab, like, with other actors, I'd say Zendaya. If okay. it was a director, I would say probably Denis Villeneuve. He okay. is Canadian, and he did, like, he did Dune okay. and Blade Runner 2049. He, he's crazy. Um, but a song... Ah, that kid. That is, like, the biggest, biggest question. Okay, could we, how about this, to make it easier for you? Instead okay. of one person, give us a couple. Couple okay. claps. Okay, a couple. I will say, obviously, Justin Bieber. Bieber, yep. Yes. I would also love to collab with... Oh, this is so hard. Oh, my God. I would love to do like other languages too. Other languages would be sick. So I don't know. Oh my god. I'm okay. Justin Bieber. I would love to do a song with like Kanye. His mind is is nuts. All his music, everything is just like yes, yes. crazy. I would love to do those two, and then. Also, I mean, Olivia Rodrigo is pretty sick right now. Totally. Yeah. Oh, there's so many, though. Oh, my God. Let's just leave it there. Okay. I'll <laughs> Kanye and Beaver. So when that happens, because we're going to be manifesting this for you, I'm going to okay. be saying, Josh, remember on that live a few years ago? And now it's here. Okay, okay. Fingers I'll hold you to it. <laughs> I love talking to you. That Canadian pride, I love it. And thank you so much. Your bow champions love you. And that's such a good reason why you're a great guy. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. It is Always a pleasure. Again. Bye. Bye. Bye.